Okay, so um, I have this morning, this is a, I uh, heat treated a batch of rock for flint napping. And I put this in this pit yesterday and cooked it all day and all night. And so now it should be ready for me to open it up and see what I did. So um, what I'm gonna do now, first off, you can see this layer of ash. This was a, a, a fairly small fire, so I didn't use a huge amount of wood. So first off, I'm gonna clean off this ash and get it out of here so I don't mix it into my dirt as much as I can help from doing that. It just gets, everything gets so ashy after a while. I try to keep the ash out of it. So get this ash off and then I'll expose my bed of bifaces. I took most of this rock and I flaked it and I made big flakes and bifaced them. Some of them are pretty far along, others are not, so there's two layers. So this first layer that I'm gonna uncover here is the thinner stuff, the bifaces. And so it's not, I bury it, I put a little bit of layer of dirt over the top, that dirt is probably up to my first knuckle in depth that I cover them with. You can see those bifaces coming out there already. And there's a rock from all over the place in here. A lot of rock from Wyoming. There's some stuff from Colorado all around. Some pretty nice bifaces. So I'll just, this is sort of that first layer of the thinner, thinner stuff. You can see those guys. So I'll pull them out and I'll put them I just keep a little basket that I put them into as I pull them out. So we'll see. This wasn't the hottest heat treating fire I've ever done. I'd rather do several um, lower heat firing cookings of the rock than to do um, it too hot and destroy the rock. So we'll see what happens with this. So this is the upper layer. And then I'll come in here and expose this lower layer that's in the pit. I don't see much color change in the rock, so this was a, a sort of a low firing. Hopefully it was enough to do stuff. What it does is that the, the heat treating of the rock makes the rock so that it flakes easier. Makes it flake a lot easier. Okay, so there's some bifaces in this lower layer too, few. This is stuff out of the Santa Cruz, Wyoming. This is Wyoming. This is a piece of agate right here from the gym show. So this is Santa Cruz River. This is Santa Cruz River, Santa Cruz River. Wyoming, Wyoming. These are pretty big. I oftentimes, I don't like to heat treat this big of chunks of rocks. I often like to have them a little bit thinner, but um, just give them a little bit, make them flake a little better, then I'll thin them down, and then maybe even heat treat them again one more time.